everyone welcome back to my channel it's been a while since i've sat down and filmed in front of the camera and it honestly feels kind of weird um the past two months i've been so busy that i haven't had time to film and i haven't had really any ideas so it's been a while um i have two jobs one was an internship that just turned into a full-time position, so I start that. I also had a part-time job from like November um, at Anthropology, and I just printed my two weeks for that. So pretty much have been busy every day. Finally, I have a day to film and kind of get my life together. So I'm filming for you guys because it's been a while, and I do really like my YouTube channel, and I have also been really like into making it like good content and curating it to like my style and stuff like that. So I'm doing a current favorites. I love favorites videos. I think they're super um, fun to film and fun to watch because I love seeing things that people have been recently liking, gives me ideas, and I hope this video does the same for you. Maybe not, maybe we'll see. So in this video, I have some fashion, some beauty, hair, accessories, K-pop stuff, all of that. And yeah, let's just get started with the video. So I'm going to start with some beauty. First thing that I have is this Sweet Chef Ginger Vitamin C Bright Spot Toner. I actually saw this on TikTok for like K-beauty stuff that you can get here in America, specifically at Target. And this was one of the brands, Sweet Chef. And it also is a bright spot toner and I had really really bad acne scars and dark spots on my cheeks from when I would get acne literally in the same spot in college from stress and this made it go away in literally under a month. I think this is like holy grail product when it comes to dark spots or just like brightening your face and making it like smooth or whatever this product is a little more what am i saying this is product is a little on the expensive side but i definitely think it's worth it i've had this for quite some time and i'm now like getting down to the bottom of it so it's definitely uh uh expensive but also lasts you a while this is a hair but i think hair and beauty like kind of fall in the same way um so this is heritage by mini mcknight argon oil elixir and i've been following like cute girl hairstyle and like brooklyn and bailey f forever they were like my middle school and high school follows on youtube and sh the mom mindy came out with a hair care brand and um it's called heritage and i have been struggling with my hair for the longest time currently my hair is a little frizzy because it's super humid outside but i still think it like shows my natural curls really well and also my hair has been super dry and i know that argon oil does wonder to dry hair and this has been such a staple in my um hair care routine curl lifts as well because i'll go like I'll take a shower the next day my hair will be flat and then I just put this in and adds a little bit of a lift I don't know if that's the purpose for it but that's what it's been doing and also this smells so good it's vegan cruelty free minimal minimal oil free paraben free sulfate free all the goods the next product I have is from super goop and this is the simmer shade um, SPF 30 like makeup line thing that they have so this is like a shimmer shade that you put on your eye and it has sunscreen in it which i think is so interesting and such a cool concept because you wouldn't think to put sunscreen in your like eyeshadow so i've been using a lot recently this is in daydream and it's just like a pink um color and i just put this on my eyes and sunscreen is so so important especially in like skincare and beauty one to keep your face from getting skin cancer but also it's like anti-aging as well um you don't get like wrinkles and your face is just much more youthful so i've been really caring about kind of like what i put on my face last beauty item that i have is actually 
this little mini peach lip balm and it's just cute that's the whole reason that i'm adding this in this video it's from tony molly i think i think that's the brand and it's just a korean skincare brand and it's just a little peach and it smells good and cute things like this just really interest me i got this from ulta so i was going to see if they had the bt21 cream line but they didn't so i found this instead <laughs> and to some jewelry and some hair accessories i've been loving jewelry recently and like elevating my necklaces and rings that i'm not wearing right now but i'm gonna talk about them i've just been really into that recently so the first item i'm gonna talk about are some earrings and these are from anthropology you're gonna see that in this video um but they're just these little c-shaped purple marble earrings and i think they're so cute i don't have anything like this let's see if i can they look like this and they're just really cute they remind me of the criterion collection logo if you know what that is film people shout out um, but yeah, they're just cute and my ear hasn't been infected like it has been for the past six months. So I've been buying earrings, but these are super cute. Next are actually the um, necklaces I'm wearing currently. I've been really into layering necklaces. I'm a little late on that trend because people have been doing it for a while. But um, I got some necklaces for my birthday that said like 1997 and Capricorn on it that I'm not currently wearing and I just wanted like pieces to elevate that. So I have this one from Ana Luisa. I have a 10% discount in the bio if you guys wanna check it out for that. And this is just their really classic gold chain necklace. It says BU on it and I think it's really pretty. And then this one right here is an H um, necklace from Anthropology. I got this a really, really long time ago but I lost it, so I just recently repurchased it. And yeah, I think it looks really cute. And they just look stunning. High quality necklaces. Now on to some of my favorite rings. I'm a silver ring gal. Um, I don't care about mixing colors and metals. It's whatever you want. So I have a lot of silver rings. I think they look the best on my fingers. So this is the set of rings that I usually wear. So I talked about this in my last video. Um, if you guys want to see kind of like what they look like on. Um, but this first ring is just like an O-ring. And this is from uh, Old Navy. I don't think I, I couldn't find the link to this in my last video. So I just put the gold one. But yeah, I usually have it on the middle finger. And then I have this really pretty daisy ring from Pura Vida. I put this on my pointer finger. And it's just a daisy. And then the next two are actually from one of my favorite BTS fan made merch sites called Private Paradise Co. Susan, the girl, has literally the best curated jewelry and apparel Ever. I highly recommend it if you're a BTS fan, but I have two rings from her. I have the August D sword ring that's a little too big, so I keep it on my thumb, and it says August D on the back, and it's just a sword ring. And then I have the black swan ring, and it's just swan um, bird wings, and I put that on this middle finger because it fits perfectly. And this one says the first death on the inside, and they're just so pretty high quality rings focus so pretty <laughs> moving on to apparel because i have something along the lines with private paradise co because she makes apparel and i love this sweatshirt i've been wanting it for a while and i finally got it like a couple months ago and it's the everything goes sweatshirt and this like dark brown and it has a little bit of stains on it but I need to like put stain remover on it um, but it just says everything goes 
it all passes someday for sure, certainly, and it's just Nam June's Everything Goes song, the lyrics, and he is my bias in BTS, so I had to get it. And it's super, super nice sweatshirt, high quality. I can't wait to wear this like out in the winter time when it's like 50 degrees and not 100. Um, I wish I got this in a bigger size because it does shrink. I got it in a medium thinking that it would fit perfectly, but um, definitely a large if you want it oversized. So back into accessories and hair. Last accessory I have, I've been obsessed with hair clips or berets recently. So I have some from Anthropology that I really love, obviously loving that. So I have these little marble hair clips that I love and just put in my hair. And then I have a ton of bigger hair clips. So there's this one, it's like a pink color. And then I have this set here. This one is like a green and navy. This one is like tan. And then this one is like a bouquet of flowers is what I would call it. Clip them in your hair. Everyone's been in this trend, so that's what I've been loving. <laughs> Moving on to some books and some stationary stuff. Okay, so I've been into reading books a lot recently. Um, and the current book I'm reading right now is Doll A for Aunties. And this is like a romance murder novel, which is really interesting. Um, it's just about a girl who goes on a blind date and accidentally kills her date. And her aunts help her like cover it up. And she meets up with her past love, which is, I don't know, so interesting to me, the concept of this book. And I'm like out of focus all the time, but great book. So for stationary stuff, I've been really into washi tape and little like vibe sticker sets. So I have them in this little jar. So these ones, I don't know where I got them from. I got them a while ago, but they're just little vibe sets. Um, and they each have little themes. So this one's like purple and the old load purple and it just has like little pictures in it and I just been loving decorating my binder my like bullet journal with this so I love those and I've also been obsessed with washi tape so these ones are a set from anthropology um, really pretty and I have these I have a whole video on bullet journaling if you guys want to check it out but I've been elevating my bullet journaling recently so love that last favorite of mine has been really um, <laughs> I have been collecting or trying to finish my BTS album collection and really caring about my photo cards a lot. I hoped that I wouldn't be this type of person, but here I am. I have a full binder and I have a photo card obsession. So yes, I want to update this little binder even though I got it not that long ago. But I found out that a lot of the older BTS albums, they're not like photo card sized. So I have to like get another binder because this one's only photo card sized. But I have a whole video on this too. I'll link it down below or it'll be in the, the cards. So yes, that is currently my favorites at the moment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I wasn't too out of focus. I kept trying to fix it, but for some reason, like, it doesn't look in focus to me on the viewfinder, but it might be, whatever. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.